Welcome to the sixth film in our Elements of Architecture series. Here, we take a look at the other elements you will find in architecture. There are also other elements that do not fall into any of the categories we've seen up to now. They are neither foundations, vertical or horizontal elements, or roofs. Cost Group 370, for example, deals with so-called built-in structures. Cost Group 390 describes all the other construction-related activities that may be required to erect a building. As usual, these two groups are further divided into Level 3 groups. General Purpose Fixtures, Cost Group 371, include primarily furniture that is fitted to the building. One example of this is the rotating wall in the confessional at Leipzig Provost Church. The rows of fixed seating found in a lecture hall, for example, also counts as built-in furniture and thus belongs to the general purpose fixtures category. Special purpose fixtures, cost group 372, are also built-in fixtures but have a special rather than a general purpose. While we might debate whether the altar shown here is a table, and thus designed for general use, or a special purpose fitting, there is surely no doubt when it comes to the organ shown on the left. As a built-in musical instrument, it clearly serves a very specific purpose. The other construction-related activities and equipment classified in Cost Group 390 are auxiliary items necessary to the construction of building, but which do not remain as part of the structure itself after completion. Typically, they include site facilities such as temporary site fencing and portable site toilets, for example, or the scaffolding gantries you can see erected for working at great heights. At this point, I'm going to say a very few words about DIN 2761's Technical Plant and Equipment Cost Group. This category will be the subject of a forthcoming series of films in its own right, so here I have only shown you the general Level 2 cost groups. These groups are also sometimes referred to as plant groups. Six of these plant and equipment groups detail the water, heat, air and high and low voltage electricity services provided as standard in buildings and the control systems required to control them, also called building automation systems. The key elements are all illustrated in this washroom we designed for a sports hall in Leipzig. Wash basins, a radiator, air ducts and lighting. There are two more plant and equipment groups that fall outside the general classification. Hoisting and conveying equipment, cost group 460, includes technical plant and equipment used to handle and transport people and goods, so essentially lifts, escalators and cranes. Specific use plant and equipment, cost group 470, covers technical equipment which, similar to the special purpose fixtures we saw earlier, has a specific use. It includes stage equipment, medical equipment, kitchen equipment and laboratory equipment, as shown here on the roof of our laboratory building at the Leipzig Institute for Troposphere Research. Summary Cost Group 370 deals with so-called built-in structures. General purpose fixtures include primarily furniture that is fitted to the building. Special purpose fixtures are also built-in fixtures, but have a special rather than a general purpose such as a church organ. Cost Group 390 details all other construction-related activities and equipment, including auxiliary items necessary to the construction of building, but which do not remain as part of the structure itself after completion, such as site facilities. Our next series of films deals with structural elements. We hope you'll be able to join us.